en I'm entering my um my handle real quick so that hello 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 hi I'm so happy to have you guys here today yay <laughs> hi hold on I am okay how do I uh oh it's going too fast Oh wait, I wanna pin this. Oh, there we go. All right, hi. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. We are gonna chat today and I'm super excited. Uh, for all of you that are jumping on here, my name is Chantel. I am with Visible Confidence. My Instagram handle is right there. It's the pinned post, so if you wanna follow me, go ahead. We are going to wait for a few more people to jump on here, but in the meantime, I would love to know where you're from. So if you just drop in the comment box where you're from and what your business is, I would love to know, we would all love to know. So drop that in the comment box, let me know where are you from. I am in Houston currently, I'm actually in Houston, getting ready to move to Miami, so my house is crazy. Oh wait, Miami, okay. Walls Pop Group will definitely have to connect. Send me a message because I'm about to be there. I'm moving to Miami in under two weeks. So come, uh, <laughs> come, um, let's, let's definitely connect. Um, Nigeria, the Netherlands, Atlanta. Okay, etiquette and manners training. Ooh, that is needed. So when I was in college, I played basketball in college and my coach made us go to an etiquette class so that um, when he took us to all the fancy restaurants so that we could know how to act, right? Um, Walls Pop, yes, the Walls Pop Group, yes, let's connect. Gabrielle, hey girl, hey. <laughs> India, wow, India, okay. Corona Cali, I'm from California originally, so come on, come on Cali. Ann Arbor, Michigan, the Netherlands, Atlanta, I love that. Speaking and training services, Inspired to Peel, that's awesome. A lot of people need that. I, I've definitely taken speech classes as well. Um, all manners matter. Etiquette would be great to have live on Business Rules for Women. Oh, y'all, you hear that? Hey, Gabrielle said etiquette would be great to have on Business Rules for Women. So um, I'm gonna talk about the program I'm on a little bit later, but yeah, this that would be that would be a great connection, a great thing for you guys to do. Uh, LA, come on LA, I'm actually out in LA a lot. My sister lives out there. Um, Long Island, New York. I love New York. New York is like beautiful. Um, but don't don't look at my nails. They're like a mess right now. <laughs> I was like, ooh. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. Okay, so Mississippi, All Matters and Want to Do It. Yes. So All Matters Matter. Drop your um, email address down in the comments and Gabrielle will definitely follow up with you on that, I'm sure. Um, I'm so excited to have y'all here, yes! <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get started. Um, oh, a tiny beach town. Well, I will not be in a tiny beach town soon, but I will be on the beach. So, entertainer in Houston, Texas, Sincerely Jones. Oh, that's awesome, I'm in Houston now, so come on, H-Town. Um, women's active wear, very nice. I love that. I work out a lot, so I've been trying to be more consistent, but um, doing a pretty okay job, I must say. <laughs> New Orleans, okay, awesome. Chicago, oh, I love Chicago. I will be in Chicago next week for a speaking engagement, so that's awesome. Okay, so we are gonna jump in and get started. Uh, today, we're talking about partnerships and uh, living in your strengths and how partnerships can help you do that. And if this is your first time meeting me, which it probably is, it may or may not be, but if this is your first time meeting me, my name is Chantel Anderson with Visible Confidence and I am a confidence coach for high achieving women. So what does that mean? That means that I help professional women, power women, modern day super women's build confidence in, build the confidence to get what they want in either life or business. So that's what I do. I'm super excited to talk to y'all today. 
We are going to, oh, she said, this is my first time meeting you. Well, hello. <laughs> I'm super excited to meet you. Um, if you want to follow more of my comment or content, rather, uh, my Instagram handle is right there. It's the pinned com comment. So you can go ahead and follow me for more stuff. Um, but I'm super excited to meet you. Ooh, I see Lagos, Nigeria. I love Nigeria. Um, so today we're going to talk about walking in your strengths and how partnerships can help you do that. And I have notes so that I don't ramble. So if you see me looking down, that's what I'm looking at. And let's just go ahead and jump into it. So number one, there is, is, is anyone familiar with Gallup and the Gallup strengths Re, the Gallup Strengths research, the research on your signature strengths. If you just, if you're familiar with that, go ahead and hit a one in the comment box because this is super important and this is something that I definitely recommend that everyone should do, everyone should know, everyone should be very uh, clear on this because their research is amazing. So if you've heard of Gallup and their strengths-based research, go ahead and hit a one. Uh, all matters matter, okay, a one the us in this video oh thank you <laughs> uh the one okay great 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 so a couple people have heard of it but uh, most people have an ic so i want to let you know if you go to um i think it's gallopsignaturestrengths.com but if that's not the website just google it google gallop g-a-l-l-u-p gallop signature strengths because it's it's an awesome resource that will really help you, that can really help you um, to get more clear on your strengths. And we're gonna talk about that a little bit more, but that is super, super important as far as um, what we're gonna talk about today. So Gallup um, has done all this research and it's about strengths. And so basically whatever you're naturally good at, instead of focusing on making your weaknesses um, your strengths, you should um, figure out what you're good at and then make work really hard to live in those things. Walk in those things. And I think that makes a ton of sense. It, it, I'm a, a basketball girl. I used to play basketball. Um, played six years professionally and in college and all of that. So I'm very clear about like playing your position. We realize that in sports all the time. Like, hey, whatever you're naturally good at, play your position and do that. And so living in your strengths is in real life is like playing your position. It's like figuring out what you're naturally good at and how can you do that and do that more often and do that as much as you can so you can live in that area. And so that is really the best way to be successful because it just it just makes sense. Whatever you're good at, just do that. Um, now, that doesn't mean we don't have weaknesses. We all have weaknesses. Whether we want to admit, admit it or not, we all have weaknesses. So, <laughs> uh, just because we're living in our strengths doesn't make our weaknesses go away. And so, what we need to do with our weaknesses is we need to fill them with other people and sometimes tools, but more, but today we're talking about partnerships. So, that is people. So, we need to fill them with other people whose strengths are in areas that we're weak at. And so what that does is that allows us to build a mutually beneficial partnership. And a mutually beneficial partnership is basically when my strengths are in areas you're weak in and your strengths are in areas that I'm weak in. And so then we have this beautiful, mutually beneficial partnership that goes together. And it's actually awesome. I have a free worksheet for you guys um, in the on my page, which is pinned on the comment. It's in, at the link in my bio. So if you go click the link in my bio, you can get a free worksheet to help you kind of work through this whole concept and figure out, okay, where does everything go and what kind of partnerships do I need? So you can get that. Um, but this, um, that's what a mutually beneficial partnership is. And so how do we build those? Because those are something that we really, really need. So, um, does anyone have, oh, said, I love networking and motivating me too, girl. It is needed. Um, so has anyone had one of those, what, like a, a mutually beneficial partnership that they, that is super important in your life? Go ahead and hit a one in the comment box. If you are looking for mutually beneficial partnerships or that's, it has helped you grow your business or you just, that is what you're in it for. Because that's what we really need to be in it for is to get in those mutually beneficial partnerships that is going, that are going to help us get to that next level. 
Awesome. One, 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 one. Guys, that is awesome. Can I just say one thing? So I have a ring light on right now and this, it makes me hot. So, oh, it's really hot. I'm already sweating. Golly. So if I, if you see me like wiping my face, that's, it's, it's this ring light's fault but it makes the lighting good. So, <laughs> uh, okay, so one, 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 I see a bunch of ones. So, okay, awesome. Mutually beneficial partnerships are key. So we need to build those. So this is how you build them. So three ways to build amazing partnerships in your life and your business. So number one, <laughs> Walls Pop Group. I know, girl, it is serious. It is a thing. <laughs> anyway, okay, so three ways to build these amazing partnerships. Number one, the number one way is to know your strengths and know your weaknesses. So you need to know what you are bringing to the table. If you are gonna sit down with someone and discuss a partnership, you gotta know what you're bringing to the table. And a lot of times people say, okay, I'm bringing to the table um, and they focus on their strengths, which is great. You do need to focus on your strengths, but you also need to know what weaknesses you're bringing to the table because that is going to influence who you actually end up partnering with right? And so what are your strengths and weaknesses that you bring to the table? And if you are, um, this is why I mentioned the Gallup strengths research is because it really helps you dig into those strengths and figure out what, what they are. And I also have a worksheet that will help you do that also. So, um, what do you bring to the table? So as far as me, when I sit down with someone and we're talking about partnership, we're talking about working together, we're talking about, hey, it, are, am I some, somebody that can help you and are you someone that can help me? When we're sitting down, I know that I bring a certain number of strengths to, ta to the table. So number one, I'm strategic. So the minute you sit down, like, and you propose something, like, is it a, if it's a thing that you're trying to get done or uh, something you want or a plan, whatever it is, immediately my mind starts working on it. And I know that that's just something I, that's a strength that I bring to the table. And so if somebody needs to, if I hear a need that, oh, you need strategy, bam, done. I, I can help you, right? Um, the other thing I bring is perspective. I have had a ton of crazy life experiences where I've lived in other countries. I've lived in six different countries. I've, I've traveled the world. I've, I've been in a lot of different um, situations and uh, done a lot of different careers. I played pro basketball and then I went into college coaching and recruiting. And then I went into corporate medical device sales for four years. And so I have a lot of different experiences that can um, that I can help people with and what that allows me to bring to the table is perspective. So like, I know that when we sit down, like those two things I'm, I'm bringing to the table. Um, inspiration and vision are two of the other things that I'm like, okay, when we sit down, these are my strengths that I'm bringing to the table, okay? But what weaknesses am I bringing to the table? We all have to know, yo, these are my weaknesses. And I think this is the thing that scares us the most is a lot of times like we're, um, we're scared to admit that they're there. And I think we just need to get that out of the way. You know, like we all have weaknesses. So like, let's just figure out what they are so that we can figure out how to keep them from ruining our lives and our careers, right? Um, and, and that's why we need to like admit that we have them. Cause if, if they're not looked at in the face, then we can't stop them from ruining things. So um, the weaknesses that I bring to the table, um, I'm looking at, okay, so <laughs> I wrote all this down so I don't ramble. Um, the weaknesses that I bring to the table, so I'm really strategic and I'm really great at the vision and, I'm, and I can sell. Like, so that's on the other side. But all those like steps in between like the strategy and the vision and then the sale, like I need help with. Those aren't my strong suits at all. Um, as far as like basically the execution stuff in between, like I can have I'll plan out the steps, but the execution stuff in between, I'm not great at. So when I am looking for partnerships, I need to, the my strengths is gonna be my selling point and my weaknesses are gonna be what I'm looking at that, looking for them to sell me. I'm looking for evidence in their lives, in their business, that this is what they're good at, right? So 
that is how that is why when we are looking for mutually beneficial partnerships we need to um, be very very clear about what our strengths and our weaknesses are what we bring to the table um, so I'll ask you this question what are yours what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses in your business in your life in whatever area you're looking for this partnership in what are those things so that you can be clear when you're sitting across the table from someone okay this is what i'm this is what i'm bringing to you and this is how you can help me so that's number one know your strengths and your weaknesses number two is a win-win mindset so a lot of people um nude fit says same as you oh awesome come on <laughs> um send me a message because i kind of i want to check out your um your your page that's that's an interesting name um anyway so yeah number two is a win-win mindset and this is super important we mentioned this a little bit earlier when you are going for partnerships you need we need to look at mutually beneficial partnerships because if if it's not mutually beneficial then it's a waste of our time and it's a waste of somebody else's time. And we actually covered this last week on this bra on my um, live broadcast. We talked about networking. We talked a little bit about partnerships, but um, and we talked about the difference between a mutually beneficial partnership and a transactional relationship. And so that is the um, there's a big difference there. But a mutually beneficial partnership is a win-win. And so we need to um, be very excited to find those win-win um, partnerships. We are all using what we're good at so that we can win. And so it's not about being sleazy or using someone in a bad way. This is, um, this is about leveraging what you are good at and leveraging what they're good at so that you can both win and that so you can both win together. And so when we're going into partnerships, we need to have that focus that win-win mindset that like oh I'm not going into this like what can I get out of you or what can I get out of this I'm going into this partnership as in what can we get out of this together because I'm gonna leverage my strengths you're gonna leverage your strengths and we're gonna win together this is so key because if, if you go in with that mindset, then all of a sudden you go from a sleazy business person who's just trying to take advantage of people to a really um, great partner and a great person to work with and someone that people are gonna be inspired by. And so that's a transition that we all need to make as far as running a really purposeful, um, positive, win-win business for everybody. And then that will definitely, if you have that mindset with your partners, then you will also have that mindset with your customers. And so that translates into every area of your life. I don't know if you've ever heard this, um, heard this quote, but somebody told me this quote, it was like, um, the way you do anything is the way you do everything. And at first I was like, nah. <laughs> but what that means is if you do something in one area, then it filters out into other areas that principle that you show in this in that in that area uh filters out into all these other areas and so that's really important and so i absolutely do agree with that so um that would be the second uh the second key to building these amazing partnerships is uh having a win-win mindset going in Oh, Gabrielle says you're, that's your favorite quote. Man, that is something, honestly, that is a quote that I, um, that I have really had to try to um, apply to my life because when I was in sports, I was super de dedicated to that to super dedicate, super disciplined, super all this stuff. Um, and that's what made me really good. And then I left sports and it was really hard to apply all of those things to real life. And I realized that I wasn't really disciplined. It was because I had had structure, right? And so then I had to be like, okay, how do I build that into um, what I'm doing now so that I can be that, have that same amount of success? So man, Gabrielle, I, I love that quote too, but it's not something that comes naturally to me. It's not something that I normally um, really believed until I got into real life. And I was like, oh yeah, it's totally true. <laughs> And I've really had to work hard to um, apply that. So yeah, thanks for sharing. Um, the other thing I want to say is this, it, this comes back to trust and it comes back to trust in yourself. 
because um, in order to have a win-win mindset, you have to trust the people that you're working with and you have to trust that they are good people and they are competent. And so in that way, you need to trust yourself because if you trust your judgment in be, and your discernment in being able to figure out who someone is and what they stand for and if they're competent and if they are who they say they are and if, if you... Um, if you can judge all that, if you trust your, trust your judgment, then when you decide to work with someone, you're going to be like, okay, yeah, I can, I can trust them. I can, we can win this together because I trust who they are because I trust myself and my judgment. And so that's where confidence and judgment and trust comes in is that if you trust yourself, then you can trust the people that you um, work with because you pick them, right? And so I think that that's what, that's kind of how we need to um, go forward is like, okay, can I trust myself? And if I can't, then I kind of need to work on my confidence in myself. I need to work on my discernment, my judgment, seeing people as they are and, um, and figuring out, okay, am I good at that? So, uh, oh, somebody says, what was that quote? It's the way you do anything is the way you do everything. So that was, that was the quote. Um, so trust yourself so you can trust your partners. Um, and then the number three, so that's number two, is to approach all partnerships with a win-win mindset. And then the number three way to um, build amazing partnerships in your life and your business, it's humility and confidence. So I touched on this in the video on Business Rules for Women page and in the additional video on my page today. Um, so if you wanna go check those out, you can. But, uh, <laughs> if, uh, but there is, um, a certain humility and confidence that must be present if you are going to be in any mutually beneficial partnership. If you are going to have these um, these beautiful partnerships that work and make you more productive and more successful, then there has to be humility and there has to be confidence. And a lot of people look at those things as like they don't go together, but they absolutely do. So the humility means that. Um, I realize that I am weak in certain areas and I am not afraid to tell you that so that I can figure out if your um, strengths can figure out, like if your strengths can fill those areas of needed. But if I say, oh no, I'm good at everything, then we're not really gonna be able to figure out if we can help each other. And if we're gonna be working together, then I have to be willing to be like, you know what? That is an area that I'm not great at. That's an area that you're better than me at. And so you take that and I'll be over here doing what I'm good at, <laughs> right? Like that takes humility. That takes admitting what we're not good at. That takes being vulnerable sometimes. That is scary. It's not easy all the time. And so that's, again, it goes back to your discernment and your judgment as far as when you choose who you're gonna work with, you have to make sure that um, certain things are gonna be safe with that person, right? But I'm on a live broadcast. I don't know how many of y'all are watching this, but I'm on a live broadcast and I just told you what I'm not good at. And that's okay. Because at the end of the day, I know, and this comes to the confidence piece, <laughs> is I can know, I, I'm perfectly fine telling you what I'm not good at. Why? Because I am confident enough in my strengths that I know that what I'm good at, I'm really good at. And I don't have to be good at everything because I'm good enough at what I'm good at, right? And so that's why it makes it easier to be humble and have humility and show humility when you are confident in what you do do well. Does that make sense? And so I'm like, yeah, I suck at this and I suck at this and I can't do that. And uh, yeah, I need somebody to help me with this. But this, 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 and this, done. That's what, that's what I do. And it's that humility and that confidence. When, those, when humility and confidence meet, that is where that powerful partnership takes off and that's where you can work together because your strengths fill my weaknesses and my weaknesses fill your strengths and I'm not threatened by that and neither are you. That is the most powerful partnership ever is when you can sit down and you're like, okay, yep, I, I, I don't care that I suck at that and that you're good at that because I'm, I'm not threatened by you because you know what? I'm good at what I'm good at. And that takes a while. That, that confidence is intentionally built. And that's what I help people do is to build that confidence 
to be able to say that, to be able to go out and do this or to be able to go out and facilitate all of these different partnerships and business ideas and all of these things. Like that is super, super important. So humility and confidence are so important for these, um, these powerful partnerships. A lot of people think that they don't go together, but they absolutely do. They, t they totally do. Um, so the thing that I'm sorry, I'm, I'm checking my notes. <laughs> I want to make sure I, uh, I get everything in cause we're, we're wrapping up here. Um, confidence says I'm enough in what I do. I don't need to do everything. Oh yeah. Um, so I'm <laughs> sorry, reading the notes. That is what, uh, so confidence says like, I am enough in what I do. So I don't need to be able to do everything. I don't need to be able to do what you do. And I don't need to be threatened by the fact, by your ability to do it because I'm enough in what I do and I do it well. And so, and you have to have confidence in your business that, um, that this is going to, that they're going to be able to check your business and see the fruit in that. Like, like you're, you're going to be able to go to my page and be like, Oh, okay. She, she does what she does, you know, but, uh, we have to have that confidence. Um, your voice. I don't know who that is, but <laughs> amen. Uh, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, Ashley. Oh, thank you. Give hearts if you're getting value. Yes, give hearts if you're getting value. Thank you, Ashley. Great words. Thanks. I appreciate the feedback. Yay. So um, partnerships, wrapping up here, partnerships are so available, um, are so available, so important because um, they allow you to live in your strengths instead of your weaknesses. Um, taking Instead of taking all this time to make your weaknesses better, you can just outsource them and you just be like, okay, we're going to work together on this so that I can do what I do and I can do what only I can do because then you're going to do what only you can do. And then we're going to work together. So that's why partnerships are so important. And that's why, um, they're so important and that's why we need to go after them and, and really be strategic about building them. It says, how do you figure out your weaknesses are when you, when you are B to the business world? Um, how do you figure out what your weaknesses are? So I think it's just, it comes back to self-awareness. It comes back to, um, asking yourself those hard questions, looking at your business and saying, okay, what am I not good at? What does not come naturally to me? What, what do I really have to struggle to do? Or what do I really have to, um, like what drains me when I do it versus gives me energy? Like that is the thing, like tech stuff. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm terrible at it and I can figure it out. But at the end of the day, um, like when you're first starting out, sometimes you don't have money to outsource this and that's fine. You figure it out, you know, and you do everything until you can find a partner that does it, you know? Um, but, uh, you have to be clear about what those things are so that as soon as you can get up, get somebody to do it, you're like, okay, I, I'm going to give that to you so that I can be over here doing what I'm good at. <laughs> right. Um, so that's how, um, that's what, uh, what's important. I just say, look at your life and look at your business and figure out, okay, uh, what am I weak at? What doesn't come easily or naturally to me? Um, yay. I'm super excited to connect in Miami too. Definitely send me a message. Uh, she said, but should we try to conquer what we are not good at or just accept it for what it is? So there are, um, there are a couple ways. And I actually answered that, uh, that question and go into it a lot deeper in my confidence course that I have. But, uh, I will say that, um, shoot, I, where is that? Where's that question? Oh, um, so there's two types of weaknesses and there's two types of we just one that you should um, compensate for and one that you should improve on. So compensating for, I'm super absent-minded. That's not going to change, right? I always have a zillion things going on in my head. It's never going to change. I'm not going to get any better at it. So I am going to compensate for that. Meaning when I go and park in a parking garage, I'm going to take a picture of where I parked because there's no way I'm going to remember it. I'm not going to beat myself up for being absent-minded. I'm going to... Um, just do it. <laughs> you know, uh, I said, what is drop shipping? That's not really what we're talking about right now. But if you send me a message, I can, um, give you a great job drop, drop shipping place because I actually have t-shirts made and they're, they're awesome. Um, drop shipping is like what you need to do for apparel. Um, <laughs> so message me and I'll explain it to you. That's not what we're talking about right now though. Um, 
So compensate for is like, okay, I'm not going to beat myself up because that's a weakness, but I'm either going to like compensate for that in my actions, or I'm just going to fill that, you know, I'm just going to fill that with a person. That's a partnership thing that I need to like, uh, like tech. I'm not going to, um, get better at tech and maybe a little bit better, but not a lot. I'm just going to go find a partner that does that. And I'm going to compensate for it that way. That's why po powerful partnerships are so important. Now, the ones that you need to get better at are, um, the ones that if you don't get better at are going to ruin your life and your business versus like, for me, that's discipline. Like I work every day to be more disciplined in what I do because it's not a strength of mine, not a strength of mine at all. But unless I get better at it, it's going to ruin my life and my business. And so that's one that I need, that's a weakness that I need to improve on. Make sense? Cool, cool, cool. Figure out a way to work with your weaknesses. Yep, don't, I don't have any. That's a lie, because we all have weaknesses. Um, I like taking a photo of a parking spot. Girl, I have to, or else I'll be running around the garage looking for my um, car for an hour. Um, Makes sense. Thank you so much. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. So a couple things I want to let you guys know, I have, um, if you go to my page, which, um, my Instagram name is pinned right there is the comment pinned. If you go to my page, I have a free worksheet for you guys. It's a downloadable worksheet and it's to help you, um, kind of walk through this, uh, process of putting down your strengths, putting down your weaknesses, and then looking at that and trying to figure out, okay, like what partnerships do I need to fill those weaknesses? So if you wanna go download that, uh, go ahead and click the link in my bio and it'll take you to that. You can definitely do that. Um, we, rise, we rise to, can you mentor me? So um, the thing about uh, being a mentor, like I mentor people spiritually, the ones that go to my church, but as far as mentoring, like I'm a coach, that's, that's what I do for my job. And so I don't really mentor people for free. All right, if you are interested in signing up for a strategy session, getting on my calendar, taking a course, you definitely, we can definitely work together in that way. Uh, but send me a message and let's, let's chat. We can, we can see what that looks like for you and, and what's the better way. Um, by the way, I love your makeup. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, you have beautiful teeth. Oh, thank you. Girl, they have been whitened a couple times, but <laughs> thanks. <laughs> thanks for the worksheet. You're very welcome. Yeah, go download it. Um, it's really, uh, it really helps me. It's just like, and, and it'll help you. What I do is I kind of break down this star concept because it's like, um, if you put two stars together, it makes you well-rounded. And so the, the, you'll see it on the worksheet, but it's, it's really, it's kind of, it's kind of a cool concept. So, um, go figure out your strengths, figure out your weaknesses, put them on the worksheet, and then it will help you be more strategic about who you need to partner with. Um, so a few things, yeah, go download the worksheet. It is on the link it, at the link in my bio. <laughs> Uh, number two, uh, this 12 week program that I'm on for business rules for women is amazing guys. Like this is how I ended up in front of you today. So Gabrielle is putting together a 12 week marketing experience where you can come in, you can take over the live, you can post uh, videos, you can post graphics. It's a all in one, all encompassing marketing solution for your business. This is how I ended up in front of you guys today. Um, the results are amazing. I mean, I am super excited to share what I have with you. And so if you are somebody on this live session that has an established brand, like not as not an established brand, but like, you know what you're trying to sell and you know what messaging you want to get out there, which Gabrielle helps you with that too. She's awesome at, at helping you kind of, um, figure out like what you want. And, and, um, she coaches in that way too. But if you have a brand that you just, need marketing and you need to get it out there in front of more people in order to help it take off, then I would definitely suggest that you do this 12 week marketing program. It's amazing. Um, totally worth it. So if you're interested, go ahead and drop your email, um, in the comments and, uh, Gabrielle will follow up with you and that will be awesome. Like I totally would recommend it to anyone who, um, who needs marketing cause it's really cool. And Number three is follow me. <laughs> follow 
follow me on Instagram because I post videos, I post inspirational content, I post mini blogs, I post confidence tips all the time. Um, if you wanna go download the free worksheet, you'll be on my email list. I send out confidence tips every Monday or Tuesday. Um, so I am all about helping you be more confident, helping you build the confidence you need to go out and get what you want in life, in business, no matter what. So uh, go ahead and uh, follow me on Instagram. That would be awesome. And then he said, no, okay, well, don't then. <laughs> I mean, why would you say that? It's like, okay. <laughs> But yay, um, oh, email me. Okay, yeah, definitely. Is it just for coaches? No, it's for everyone. That's the beautiful thing about confidence is that like no matter what you do, um, it, you apply it, you need confidence to do whatever you do. Like anything, you know? Confidence is, is universal. We all need it no matter what we're doing. Um, great information and thank you. Yes, thank you. I appreciate you turning in. Anyone can do it, absolutely. Um, so that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I will be back next week for another live session. So keep your eye out for videos and uh, the on the Instagram stories, just letting you know when I'm gonna be live, uh, when I will be posting videos on Business Rules for Women again. Thank you so, so much and have a great day. Bye. <laughs> oh, and. And, 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 there we go.